Motherwell looking absolutely beautiful. Steelopolis as it's known. No change to the circuit. 1.2 kilometers. It's always a fast, very, very action-packed uh, circuit that we've got here. A little bit of a gap appearing now. Riders starting to struggle down the back. The sprint being opened up by Team Breeze on the right there. Ray Bowl comes up towards the line. Nia Evans is in there as well, as is Jess Roberts. Joe Tinley trying to challenge on the line. Very tight there, and I think we'll wait for the official result of that one and not speculate because it was uh, almost a photo finish on the line. There's a big attack now on the right-hand side of your screen. As Jess Roberts goes, there's confirmation of your sprint results. So Becky Raybould takes it from Joe Tindley. Bex Durrell gets up there as well. The breakaway is out of sight, certainly not out of mind as they've got 100 metres to go to the sprint. And it's that leader's jersey on the shoulders of Jess Roberts. And she's vying for those points. I don't think she'll be challenged by Nia Evans because there's absolutely no point in her going for them. Indeed, Jess Roberts just leads through the line. You can see those flags just being buffeted in the wind there. So Roberts in that red iceberg leader's jersey. Remember, she's second in that competition. Anna Henderson not taking the start tonight. So she pulls on that jersey. She's just keeping it warm for her. Out of that bottom corner, Mason from Story Racing. They've still got their three riders in that group. Monica June, Dame Sarah Story right on the back. These are some lapped riders just ahead. So behind Joe Tindley trying to challenge with Bex Durrell in the sprint. Remember, this is the sprint for third place points. Tindley takes that just ahead of Durrell. So another good sprint point scored for Joe Tindley. Just going around the outside of those lap riders. And I noticed Katie Archibald still there in that lead group. There you have it. So Jess Roberts takes it from Lizzie Bennett, Charmaine Porter, Rona Callender and Bex Durrell. And on the front, Roberts reacts. And Bennett behind can't get on terms. It's going to be between Nia Evans and Jess Roberts. Roberts has got the front, though. Evans is fighting back. It looks like it's going to be two wins from two. It is. Jess Roberts takes it from Nia Evans. And Lizzie Bennett, a great third place for the Campanese Vela performance rider. We go back now to the bunch gallop, and as we've already said, those green jerseys coming to the fore, but Katie Archibald on the left of your screen, two of the Team Breeze riders got together on the right, and that's going to help them no end in the team competition. So Katie Archibald crosses the line, so great ride tonight from Team Breeze. And they cross the line, Josie Knight just ahead of Becky Raybould. So I think it doesn't take uh, our mathematics to work it out. The Team Breeze managed to put the numbers up there at the end and will pretty much take the uh, team prize on the night. But over the line, a great sprint win by Jess Roberts. Another great win for Jess Roberts of Team Breeze, out sprinting local favorite Nia Evans with Lizzie Bennett in third. So two wins out of two for the British Road Race champion, Jess Roberts of Team Breeze. Which means the 20 year old won the Sprint on a Night Award and also takes over in the overall Red Iceberg Sprints jersey. Team Breeze took the team win here in Motherwell with four riders in the top 10. That also means that Team Breeze take over in the green jerseys for overall leaders. In beautiful evening here in Motherwell, the men are rolling out from the start. Those green over energy leaders jerseys being worn tonight by Team Madison Genesis. Andy Tennant was at the front, did a good job in the Tory Yorkshire to take fourth on one on stage, transferred from being a team pursuiter to a sprinter on the road, but over the line, and it's Lampierre that picks up the points. Great ride by Lampierre, really bossed that sprint. Joey Walker getting himself up there as well in third place. You can see now, though, this peloton really starting to splinter under the pressure. First sprint in Motherwell goes to Lampierre from Bostock with Walker in third into this corner and it's Rebel Pro cycling on the front all goes in to that corner it's been tight oh rider down on the corner big crash same spot that we saw Platt from St Piran going down and uh, well, just bundling into that crash aren't they Marty and it was almost like uh, flies to the light oh dear Tobin Horton just sitting up there grabbing his collarbone 
It's a classic injury in cycling. The collarbone, the Madison Genesis rider just being helped away there. And I'm not seeing the red iceberg jersey of uh, Lampierre there. You can see that his teammate is just looking over his shoulder, Matt Knoll, just to try and see where his leader is. That big crash that included Horton really looks like it's distanced a few important riders here. Yeah, and Vitus Pro Cycling got three riders in this front group as well. So Sam Piran, those very obvious orange jerseys missing from this front group. As you say, just the one rider, Canyon DHB doing a great job in that sprint. So Matt Knoll takes maximum points, rolls through there. Andy Ten and Scott Ald getting him himself up there for Ribble Pro Cycling. Round this left-hand corner at the bottom of the finish straight, you'll see how the team managers are encroaching on the course, trying desperately to get their information to their riders, and then the barriers come in at 100 metres to go. And look at the chase behind. You can see it's really fracturing that bunch. Ignore the back markers. John Archibald takes a glance back. He takes maximum points in the sprint. And behind again, two riders from Canyon DHB, one of those green leaders jerseys, St. Piran, just trying to take some more points in the sprints competition. Got to say, whatever Alex Payton has had for breakfast, I want some. He's definitely had three Weetabix. He has indeed. There's confirmation of your sprint result. Archibald from Payton, Walker and Hennessy. Here they come, Alex Payton leading out for Jake Hennessy. Hennessy comes off the wheel, Joey Walker is trying to get on terms with him. And Jacob Hennessy now on the uphill sprint here in Motherwell. Walker's challenging for second, but Jake Hennessy takes the sprint for Canyon DHB. Walker takes second, Payton takes third. So the all-important team competition now as Peyton and Hennessy celebrate with Joey Walker. But here you go, back to Mark Stewart leading out for Ribble. But I don't think he's going to hold on. And it's in the middle there from Canyon DHB, Matt Bostock. So confirmation of the win for Jacob Hennessy out sprinting Joey Walker of Madison Genesis with teammate Alex Peyton in third. It was the first Tour Series winner's podium for the rider from Canyon DHB Blue Heights. There was some consolation for Joey Walker with the Sprint on the Night Award. And there's a new man in red with Steve Lampierre of St. Piran taking over in the Iceberg Sprint classification. The defending champions took to the podium as the team on the night, which means that Canyon are now the green jersey wearers for overall team leaders. Their level